there's two sides to every transaction. You have the currency and then you have the actual good or service. Prices can go up and down based on the currency or based on the good and the service. So let's just take the good and service first. The good and service affects the price through the basic free market price discovery mechanism, which is a supply demand equilibrium. So if the supply goes up and the demand goes down, the price comes down. If the demand goes up, supply goes down, price goes up and all everything in between there. But it's a free market signal based on the supply demand equilibrium. So when there was a supply shock after COVID, yes, partially prices were going up because there was a lack of supply against consistent demand. But that's just one side of the currency pairing. Remember, the other side is the actual USD currency. So we have to understand what's being used to trade. If you think about it in really old terms, like they used to, to use the seashells, right? Well, as more and more people were getting seashells and people started to figure out, well, these things really aren't worth that much, the prices started going up. Well, the prices started going up because more and more people were buying stuff. No, prices started going up because more and more people were using the seashells and it was revealed that they weren't worth as much. So that's the same thing that's happening right now. More and more currency is being printed. And with the Fed's new program that just the banking term funding program they just launched, JP Morgan came out today and said it could inject up to two trillion dollars into the system. Well, that's not quantitative tightening. That's not reducing the currency supply. And people are sitting around thinking the prices are going to go down, which is a weird concept. Oh, let me get in the dollar. Let me get it, sit on the sidelines because prices are going to go down. But at the same time, the government is telling me the economy is on fire. So which one is it? It's, it's this hypocrisy that is really starting to reveal that we're in what I call financial COVID, right? During COVID, the data was botched. The narratives were controlled. And in hindsight, we can look back and say, wow, that was some messed up stuff happened. Well, a year from now, we're going to be able to look back in hindsight and say, whoa, some messed up stuff happened. And we need to get our definitions right. So that's why it's so important for people to understand inflation is a general rise in prices, but not because of the economy, because of the dilution of the dollar.